Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Isaiah chapter 64, this is the Amplified Version. Oh, that you would rend the heavens, and that you would come down, that the mountains might quake and flow down at your presence, as when fire kindles the brushwood, and the fire causes the waters to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, that the nations may tremble at your presence. When you did terrible things, which we did not expect, you came down, the mountains quaked at your presence. For from of old, no one has heard nor perceived by the ear, nor has the eye seen a God beside you, who works and shows himself active on behalf of him who earnestly waits for him. You meet and spare him, who joyfully works righteousness, uprightness, and justice, earnestly remembering you in your ways. Behold, you were angry, for we sinned. We have long continued in our sins, prolonging your anger. And shall we be saved? For we have all become like one who is unclean, ceremonially, like a leper. And all our righteousness, our best deeds of rightness and justice, is like filthy rags or a polluted garment. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away far from God's favor, hurrying us toward destruction. And no one calls on your name, and awakens, and bestirs himself to take and keep hold of you. For you have hidden your face from us, and have delivered us into the consuming power of our iniquities. Yes, O oh Lord, you are our Father, we are the clay, and you are potter, and we all are the work of your hand. Do not be exceedingly angry, O oh Lord, or seriously remember iniquity forever. Behold, consider, we beseech you, we are all your people. Your holy cities have become a wilderness. Zion has become a wilderness. Jerusalem a desolation, our holy and our beautiful house, the temple where our fathers praised you, is burned with fire, and all our pleasant and desirable places are in ruins. Considering these calamities, will you restrain yourself, O Lord, and not come to our aid? Will you keep silent and not command our deliverance, but humble and afflict us exceedingly? the end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.